I know every time I used to shave, it used to get on my nerves. Don't nobody got time for that. It's not a game, it's a red skin. my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be showing y'all how I wax my armpits um, I'm gonna be using this Gigi strip free microwave hair removal wax and I've been using this for the past six years um, I have really dark arms I've had it since I was a kid and um, in order to clear them up a little bit I started waxing six or seven years ago and it's definitely done me some justice and I've seen a big difference. So I highly recommend y'all use some of this wax if y'all can. It used to be darker than this. So that's progress over these years. Uh, I'm gonna keep using this wax so that I can stop shaving and yeah. If you're wondering where I got this from, I got it from two different places. Um, when I first started using this, I got it from um, Sally Beauty. And um, over the past two or three years, I started ordering from this website called iHerb.com. So I always buy like two at a time. They're usually about eight to $10 each. And I just get two at a time and it just ships right to my house. So this is um, where I get these products from. Stay tuned for this video if y'all wanna see how I get a before and after look um, and to clear up some of my dark spots under my arm. Let's get to it. So this is how my Gigi Wax looks right out of the container. Um, I have not used it yet. It has a set of instructions on it. There's a lid and a protective cover right under it, so you can tell that I have not used it just by looking at it right here. And this is how the wax looks after a few trials, after warming it up. This is how you want the wax to look. You want it to be a little bit uh, soupy-like before it starts thickening up before you apply it to your skin. Okay, so I am back with the wax, and I just microwaved it for, um, I did a minute, um, just so y'all can see how... Okay, I'm not gonna do that again, but y'all can kind of see a little, just a little bit how it's looking in there. This is the before, so this is how it looks when it's not warmed up, and I'm gonna show y'all on a wooded stick how it looks in a minute. So, this is how the wax looks. You want the wax to be like at a decent consistency, um, or it's like kind of soupy, but still thick in a way, so this is how it's looking. This is actually how I like it to look, just like this. I'm gonna wait like a probably about a mi another minute. Okay, so while I'm letting that wax um, do its thing and letting it thick up, thicken up a little bit, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm using. So I have these wood sticks. I just keep it in the bag like this that I got from Sally Beauty. Um, and then I just use some powder from another branded um, wax kit that I used in the past. I just keep this powder and just put it up under my arms um, just to allow the wax to lift. And the good thing about this, again, if I didn't mention it before, this wax, you don't need any strips. Don't need any strips at all. You can just apply it to your skin. Once it, once it sticks to your skin, how it should, you just rip it right off, just rip it right off. Okay, and then that's it. That's all I use for this wax. So this is what I mean about the type of consistency you want the wax to look like. You want it to stick to the stick just like this, not much coming down. So we're at a good point. I'm about to start applying it to my skin. Okay, so if I've already applied the powder to my arm. You want it to be really clean before you apply anything to it. You don't want to have any extra deodorant or products on your skin or under your arm before you start. So start it just like this. I just dumped, I just literally just dumped it on there. Nothing too special. All right, so I'm about to start applying this on here about that much on the stick. I wanna just roll the stick around to get that product on there. Um, I like to use big, uh, big wooded sticks because I like to get this done as fast as possible. All right, okay, so I'm gonna start here and I'm just applying it in a direction downward. So the direction that it grows pretty much, I'm gonna just apply it right there. And 
And then I'm gonna take the other end of the stick and then apply some more. Okay, so now I am just trying to slightly lift it, get a good grip on my skin. I'm gonna just pull under here slightly with my left hand. I'm right handed, so it's hard to do this. But okay, well, we're gonna go one, two, three. It's super rare right now, but I'm just gonna press some pressure. to stop some of that tenderness. Okay, this could be real nasty for some of y'all, but this is how it's looking. I'm gonna start with this other side. Get it, girl, get it, girl, get it, girl. The only thing I hate about this wax, y'all, is that um, once you take, once you rip it off, there's gonna be a few sections where it's like residue. You're gonna have some residue on a few parts of your arm, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to come off. Just rub it off a little bit. I'm gonna do like probably three more rounds with this and then I'm gonna come back with my other arm. Look at this part right here. You can see like that it's ripping off some of my skin, I feel like. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's where some of the lightness comes from when it takes that little layer of skin off. I'm not an expert, I don't really know. I just know I like to take this stuff off. This is the wax. I might have to heat it up a little bit more because it's literally like so dry. Okay, I'm back and I'm about to start applying the rest of this wax that I just warmed up again to the next section of my arm. And I'm gonna bring it all the way down. So this one came out really decent. And you cannot reuse these. Once once it's off the skin, you cannot reuse it. I mean, the hair is already on there. That's nasty if you try to rewarm it up. That's nasty. So don't do it. Just throw it away. One, two, three. This one got a lot. It came straight from the pores, okay? Look at that. I 
then I'm about to try to get the rest of this. I'm gonna probably have to do another two rounds to get this part over here. how that one's looking i know this is this arm was going to be a little bit tough because i could tell it had way more hair on it this was going to take a few more rounds i already knew it it was definitely going to take a few more rounds maybe like two more but that is that Got a little bit of powder <laughs> if I add. Oh, Lord Jesus. Okay, I hope this is my last round because I'm tired. My arms are getting tired. I'm gonna do a really big layer this time or a wider layer so that I can just get it all in one strip. Lift it, lift it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Yeah, buddy. This one didn't get as much as I thought it would, but it definitely picked up a lot of that um, thin layer of my skin. Like you can see the brownness on it. You can see that. So it's definitely lifting like, I guess dead layers on my skin. This is the part I was talking about earlier. This is the part that really irritates me, but I might just try to put some oil on it to try to rub it off. I don't know. It might make it worse, but for right now, I'm just going to just pick them up, lift them up with my nails. This is this arm right here. This one is done. Minus this little piece. I'm going to just take this off right now. Fabulous. I'm gone with the wind. Fabulous. Super soft. And I definitely missed a few parts over here. Everything up here is mostly gone. I just missed some spots down here like I always do. So we're going to get rid of all of this. Today. It's so hard not to get it on my clothes, so I try to like just move my. I just wear a sports bra every time I do this because nobody has the time to play around with this thing on your clothes. That should be good. I don't. Mm. I already heated this up two times. Like I missed it up there. Okay. 
got it got it and i'm done i was really neat with this one this time because i usually have wax all over my clothes it'd be hard to get off areas like up here but i did pretty good this time This is the end result of my wax. Look how much lighter I feel like it's gotten just within those matter of minutes. Um, if y'all have any natural products that y'all like to try and recommend for me, let me know. I'm always um, willing to try new products, especially natural ones for my skin. And that is the end of this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.